let's see. Oh, uh, King of Swords reversed. I'm glad I got my clarifying deck. Pisces had that earlier. Let's see. Why is the King of Swords reversed here for Taurus? This is your current situation. Couldn't have happened. I mean, may not have happened yet, sorry. But it could have. Swords reversed here for Taurus for the month of October 2018. Okay, well, yeah. Um, one, I feel somebody's being very irrational. Could be somebody's pregnant and they're just irrational. Um, but I'm seeing that, I mean, we all know the King of Swords reversed is a pretty nasty guy. And I'm going to assume it's a guy just because it's a guy card and then we have the feminine card in reverse. But overall, I'm seeing somebody is not taking care of anybody. They don't care about somebody. Because when you care about somebody, you nurture them. So I'm seeing right now is there's just somebody who doesn't care about somebody else. And the Empress um, does have its uh, an exaltation, I believe, in Taurus. So there's something with that. I want to go see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards Taurus for October 2018? Okay. Okay, yeah. You realize you're not being nurtured in the relationship or a job. Okay. And you're leaving because you know you're not happy. Also, Ten of Cups reversed says go back to nine. And whenever you're the Eight of Cups, you're leaving to go towards the nine. So you're searching for real love, something you really want, and not just some happy facade. You want the real deal. That's what's coming towards you is that's happening. Now, if this is not you, it could be your partner, okay? So you may want to just, you know, check in with them, see how the relationship's going. Hmm. Let's clarify to see what else is going on. What's coming towards for October 2018. Okay. Seven of Cups reverse. Wow. Got seven, eight, nine, and ten here. So somebody is no longer going to put on the facade anymore. They're not going to keep up the illusion or they're no longer in within the illusion. Maybe you guys finally saw something and came to reality. And it sucks because it could be about the past because we do have seven going back to six of cups, but it could be about children. Um, like finally realizing somebody didn't want children, that's a possibility. But overall, to see not being happy, realizing that this relationship isn't much of anything, and that's because you have the King of Swords in reverse, uh, probably a narcissist. Okay, um, they don't know how to be nurturing, they don't know how to express emotion, they don't know how to love because you know, um. She's ruled by Venus, and Venus is the planet of love, okay? Um, you could have an air sign as your Venus. That's possible. A lot of emotion here, and you're wanting emotion, and you're not getting it, okay? Now, going on to your advice. What's the advice for Koreans for October 2018? We got two that flipped around. <laughs> okay, so your advice is if they come back, you break their heart. Okay. <laughs> um, they want to come back when your heart is broken. Now, if for some reason you're the narcissist Taurus, which I just don't see that happening. <laughs> um, it could be somebody's leaving you. And therefore, you want to come back and they're going to break your heart. I don't see it's necessarily three people. I don't really feel like it's that. I just feel like um, it's just somebody just hurts somebody. You know, they hurt their emotions. That's what I mainly get. Let's see. Let's clarify it. I have a pentacles reversed with the three of swords, of course, as their advice. Oh, oh, 
I got some cards that are just falling everywhere. Okay. I'm only going to pick the ones that are face up. Okay, so two of wands, making a choice. You may have to, have to make a choice about separating or going back. Okay. There's that. And we have six of cups on one side. So it could be about children again. It could be about love from the past. But it's your choice to spread your wings like the eight of cups, right? Do you choose to stay stay separated or come back to this person or are they you? Okay. And then we have the three of cups. We have share the love. Notice that the heart is broken in here, just like this one. Okay. So your choice is, do you go on and find new love or do you kind of go back to the old love? And it's funny that we have simply love, share the love. So I really feel like this is more about extending forgiveness. Okay. That's what it feels like. I don't apologize if you can't hear me. I just realized I hooked the microphone up, but I did not wear it. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, so there's that. Now let's go into your outcome. I mean, I still, I still feel like you should be generous towards this person, okay? But only so much. Enough where you can still have your freedom to spread your wings. All right, as your outcome, what's the outcome for Taurus? Okay, we have a couple things happen in here. One fell on my chest. Queen of Wands reversed. Ooh. And the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so maybe there are. When we have Three of Cups and Three of Swords, usually Three of Cups is reversed, though, when it's more than one person. Okay. As an outcome, you have two. Okay, so if you're picking between two people, you know, you may not be choosing the fire sign, maybe picking the air sign. It's funny we have King and Queen of Swords. The King's reversed. So if you're in a relationship with a narcissist type of person, or if you have been and they come back, I just feel like you're going to be separated from them. And I feel like there's a bit of revenge here because Queen of Wands in reverse is also not a good lady. And she's just very straightforward. She'd be, it'd be worse if she were in reverse, the Queen of Swords. But I want the Queen of Wands in reverse. Maybe normally you were a little shy about speaking your mind, but not now. Okay, well, why are these queens here as the outcome for Taurus? The Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, I see it. So you're waiting for something, right? Queen of Wands is an action card. She's reversed, so she's not moving forward. And the Queen of Swords is very perceptive. She's going to take her time, and she's like, I'm waiting here on my fancy throne. You come here. That could be what this is. Let's see what else is here. I mean, I've given a little bit of children in here as well. Like somebody's waiting. Nine of Swords. We have awaiting results and darkest fears. So I'm afraid somebody's like going to the doctor and they're just, they're awaiting their darkest fear, which is possibly not being able to have children. I just randomly came up. Um, I'm not sure if there was some kind of a surgery with three of swords and the king of swords reversed. Um, or someone feels like they're not the passionate motherly type. And now they're more like the cold woman because she doesn't have kids. Um, I'm not sure why that is. But overall, somebody's awaiting results and they're afraid of what the results are. And it could be that, you know, this, um, what you call it, narcissist person is playing with somebody. They kind of know what to expect. But they don't want to know. And it's that, you know, it's something that doesn't really make them happy. It's the Nine of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Feeling alone, five of pentacles, we had it reversed. One of your choices is to go back or separate. 
And it looks like your darkest fear is you know you're going to have to separate. Also, feeling alone could feel, be feeling like not just abandoned. Um, it's more like a loss of some sort. And then we have death reversed, not able to move on. There may be some kind of a secret you can't move on from and you're feeling alone carrying this burden or this secret. Could be again about a relationship that is a facade and maybe you decide you, you do go back and that's the, the burden you carry. That's that it's not really everything it appears to be. And also there's this idea of um, not being able to have children or somebody not wanting children and kind of carrying that burden alone, um, even if you're with somebody. And you have like high expectations. You're, for a lot of people, you're kind of expecting uh, pregnancy or you're expecting for something good to happen, which I think is a great thing. Let's see what we get from my cards. Okay, there's a message. Money issues. Okay, so you're trying to save some money, but you're afraid you're losing it. Okay. And the thing is, one of your choices with these two here, one leads to separation and sadness, and one leads to no longer having money issues. Now, I do think somebody from your past could be coming back, or somebody you're still with, but they kind of want to be friends with benefits. And I'm seeing one of your choices is to separate instead. But also this is a card about perseverance. And then you'll be compensated for persevering. Especially when you're going through your darkest fears. You're waiting and waiting. You're feeling alone. Saying you're going to get compensation for it. facade what did I tell you guys somebody was putting on a facade whether it was them or just your whole relationship okay in the bottom of the deck opportunity hmm. I don't know if you're waiting for an opportunity to manifest Either way, I feel like you should start preparing yourself by prayer, some kind of ritual, whatever it is you do, um, for when the opportunity comes. Because I do have a little bit here of sharing the love. And two of Wands is an opportunity, or two. Okay, It's basically saying the whole world's in front of you. So don't let this past energy keep you grounded um, or tied down, I guess I should say. All right, so I hope... I shed some light on your situation for the month of October.